Hi there, welcome to today's video where I'm going to be discussing some artwork that I created for this month's issue of Prospects magazine. Well, next month's actually, July 2019. Um, but before I do, I just wanted to point out something to you. Um, I received this amazing box of Play-Doh for my birthday fairly recently. And usually speaking, I would be over the moon to receive a present like this. Um, it's really reminiscent of childhood, you know, that's really all what all my work's about really. The aesthetic matches up really well, so under usual circumstances this would be a really thoughtful gift. Um, but unfortunately it's full of gluten. I can't have gluten um, because it causes quite severe nerve pain, so I'm really gutted that, you know, it's going to perhaps have to go back to the store. Um, but I think it's inspired me to create perhaps my own gluten-free Play-Doh at some point that might be some quite interesting content for the channel. Um, perhaps I'll um, challenge myself to create a polymer painting or a Play-Doh painting or a gluten-free Play-Doh painting. Um, so yeah, that'd be quite interesting. I'm just, you know, it's, I'm just really sad about it, but um, I guess it's, uh, it's quite obvious really. It's got the word dough in there, but you know, I haven't thought about it. Um, I haven't come across Pedro in years, so um, so yeah, it was kind of new to me. So I just thought I'd let you know in case you were intending to, to gift Pedro to, to anybody. So yeah, sadly not one for the celiacs or the gluten sensitives among us. What a shame. Um, but anyway, let's go and take a look at the magazine. Okay, so here's a look at the cover. I was asked to create artwork for an article by Ed Millibans based on how to save the planet. So, you know, it was right up my street. I was um, more than happy to be involved with the art director. So as you look inside, there's an illustration there with content. So it's obviously the feature piece, which I'm really pleased about. Oh, nice. There's a cartoon strip by Stephen Collins here. I love his work. And just bear with me while I get to the right page. So, as you'll see, I was asked to create a globe with various elements on there, including electricity pylons, um, there's some industrial chimneys and a tank. And there's a little close-up here of the, the chimneys, together with a, a picture of Greta there. Fabulous. She's doing some great work, bless her. And here's a close-up of my pylons. And here's the little protest signs. And here's a picture of my tank with some flames behind it. And I think this might be my favourite one. But all the elements are obviously well placed with the subject matter. And now I'll take you behind the scenes. So to create my globe, I thought it would be a really good idea to work with one of Jean-Paul's footballs turned inside out. And uh, he doesn't look very happy about it, Ian's popped it, but um, he's got plenty of others, don't worry. So the football didn't work really because I had to use plasticine just because there was so much material to work with. So the weight of it all was just, you know, way too much for a football to cope with. So I trawled the house looking for something that would work. So I eventually found this, uh, the top of a pedal bin that's solid plastic. So obviously there's um, a lot of support there for the globe. It's pretty messy now because I had to play around with it quite a lot during the photography part of the, the projects. But I think you get the idea of what it looks like. So here's the little protest signs that I made and uh, I put wire in them so that they're attached to the, the globe better because, you know, there was nothing else to balance on really. So there's help, SOS and crisis, um, which obviously illustrates the, the issues. And I made various elements that weren't used, such as uh, these little whales, obviously in two parts, so it gives the impression that they're, they're under the sea. That's often the way with projects like this. I'll often um, make various things just to kind of play with during photography because you're never entirely sure what the finished project's going to look like when you work in 3D sculpture work. Um, so it's always good to have a, a variety of different elements. 
and here's my tank. Um, this was actually quite fiddly to make. Um, I made one much bigger to begin with to um, really try and plot out how to make it but I might do a little tutorial on this tank at some point because it's, uh, it's quite interesting. And here's my pylons. I did try and make them 3D, um, well they are 3D but I tried to put um, backs on them as well but it looked really too clunky on the globe so I stuck with this kind of design really. I think it works quite well. All the elements are made from polymer clay because obviously they wouldn't be strong enough with plasticine. And with the sea life I also made some little bones really just to show how much the oceans have been decimated really, overfishing, oil leaks etc. It's all quite depressing isn't it? And for the chimneys I created some smoke from cotton wool that had been dyed with some grey paint, obviously dried out. I had to mess around with the colours a little bit, I went too dark originally on the, on the chimneys so these lighter versions worked much better. And they attach to the globe quite well actually. And also made some little dead fish. I'm really sorry this isn't a jollier behind the scenes but you know with the subject matter kind of have to be a bit realistic really. <laughs> so you'll see now why I had some problems with my Sculpey clay conditioning machine. This is a lot of plasticine and I mixed all the colour myself because I couldn't find a, a colour that I was happy with so yeah it took a, a lot of uh, a lot of effort to get those colours. And I've got a lovely new pasta machine now anyway so it all worked out in the end. Oh and I found this bit of footage as well me working on the globe. I wanted to get a lot more footage of me putting this together but because I had so much work to do to a deadline I just didn't have time to faff around with cameras and stuff so, so this is more of a post project assessment I think. And here's me working on the flames with some graduated clay there from yellow through to red. So here we have all the elements together here along with some working materials and some initial sketches there that we used to, to plot out where we wanted to focus on. And back to the cover. For those outside of the UK, Ed Miliband is a Member of Parliament and he's also ex-leader of the Labour Party, the opposition party here in the UK. And I learned through the art director that he really loves the artwork for the, the magazine so I was thrilled to hear that. So all in all, a job well done. Thanks very much for watching, I'll see you again soon, bye bye.